Welcome to Brain Booster. Did you know tarantulas are the largest spiders on Earth? These magnificent creatures are on a completely different scale from the spiders we typically encounter, presenting us with an intriguing, if not slightly unnerving, glimpse into the arachnid world. True tarantulas belong to the sprawling spider family called Therophosidae, boasting a staggering 987 species spread across 147 genera. These spiders are largely tropical, subtropical and desert dwellers, with South America playing host to the largest number of species. However, tarantulas are far more widespread than many realize, with their habitats spanning every continent, barring Antarctica. Interestingly, the first spider to bear the name tarantula was not a member of the Therophosidae family, but rather a type of wolf spider native to southern Europe. Designated as Lycosa tarantula, it was named after the city of Taranto in southern Italy. This spider has an intriguing history, as it was linked to a dancing epidemic known as Tarantism, which swept across southern Italy between the 15th and 17th centuries. People of that time believed the frenzied dancing was induced by a bite from these wolf spiders. While the exact cause of Tarantism and other similar dancing plagues remains a mystery, the belief of a spider bite being the culprit has long been discarded, yet the term tarantula endured, later being used to describe other large hairy spiders in the Therophosidae family. The dance itself, often considered a symptom or treatment for the spider's bite, paved the way for the creation of the famous Italian dance, the tarantella. So contrary to popular belief, tarantulas are not confined to a single region. They are global inhabitants, found in diverse habitats across the world from their fascinating history to their impressive size and distribution. Tarantulas truly are the titan, dare the titan spiders of our planet. Ever wondered why tarantulas are so hairy? Well, these bristles, scientifically known as setae, play a crucial role in tarantulas' survival. Unlike the hair on mammals, which is made of keratin, these setae are composed of chitin, a substance found in the exoskeleton of many insects. Many tarantulas sport a special kind of these bristles known as urticating hairs. These serve as an ingenious defensive weapon. Picture this, a predator attempts to make a meal out of our tarantula friend. The tarantula in response uses its legs to flick these barbed urticating hairs at the unsuspecting predator. Once these bristles come into contact with the predator's eyes or mucous membranes, they cause irritation and pain, discouraging further attacks. This hairy defence mechanism is found in about 90% of New World tarantulas, and it appears these spiders have evolved multiple types of urticating hairs to fend off different predators. Some types of these hairs are more effective against invertebrates, while others are used mainly against vertebrate predators. Interestingly, tarantulas from other parts of the world do not possess these urticating hairs. So next time you come across an image of a tarantula, take a moment to appreciate those bristles. They are not just for show, but represent a remarkable adaptation in the world of spiders. So those hairs are not just for show, they are tarantulas' unique defence mechanism. Are tarantulas as dangerous as they are often portrayed? Here's the thing. Tarantulas are often typecast as dangerous, fearsome creatures. This misperception is frequently bolstered by their portrayal in movies and television, where they're seen as monstrous and venomous. However, the reality is a stark contrast to this portrayal. Most tarantulas, especially those from the New World, are not dangerous to humans. Yes, they have large bodies, yes, they have fangs, and yes, they do possess venom. But this does not make them the villains they are often made out to be. Their venom is usually less potent than a bee's sting, and their fangs, while intimidating, are more a tool for hunting than a weapon of aggression. And speaking of hunting, tarantulas are ambush predators. They prefer the thrill of the chase, pouncing on their unsuspecting prey, rather than weaving intricate webs to ensnare them. They do produce silk, but they primarily use it for lining their burrows or during mating and molting. Their diet mainly consists of insects and other small invertebrates. However, their menu varies depending on their size and habitat. Some larger species have been known to prey on small vertebrates like frogs, lizards and even rodents. So, despite their fearsome reputation, tarantulas are not the monsters they're often made out to be. They are simply misunderstood creatures, navigating their way through nature's grand tapestry. 
Did you know some tarantulas can live for up to 30 years? That's right, these eight-legged wonders have a lifespan that's quite remarkable, especially when compared to other spiders. In fact, female tarantulas can live up to three decades, a longevity that can rival many domestic pets. Now that's a pet spider that's in for the long haul. Tarantulas are not your typical web weavers. While they do produce silk, they use it in a rather unique way. Instead of crafting intricate webs to catch their prey, they use their silk to line their burrows, creating a comfortable and secure home. Silk also plays a crucial role during mating and molting, demonstrating the versatility of this natural material in the life of a tarantula. Life for a tarantula is an adventure in dining. These creatures have an eclectic taste, preying on a variety of insects and small invertebrates. Their menu is diverse and dependent largely on their size and habitat. But don't be fooled by their size. Some larger tarantulas are known to be quite the ambitious hunters, taking on prey as large as frogs, lizards and even rodents. Imagine a spider bringing down a mouse. It's a sight that's as fascinating as it is unexpected. While tarantulas are solitary creatures, they are far from boring. They lead lives filled with exploration, hunting and the occasional dance of courtship. And let's not forget their impressive defence mechanisms, from their bristly hairs to their venom. Despite their fearsome reputation, these spiders are more likely to run away or play dead than bite when threatened. They are the misunderstood giants of the spider world, more interested in living their long lives than causing harm. So the next time you think about tarantulas, remember these fascinating facts. From their unique use of silk to their diverse diet and impressive lifespan, there's so much more to these creatures than meets the eye. With a lifespan that can rival that of a cat or a dog, tarantulas are truly incredible creatures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.